Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 69. Two days ago, day before yesterday, we began the topic of average. Today we're going to continue with that topic. Here's the problem on the blackboard. I would like you to do the problem yourself. Make sure you do the problem yourself first before you continue watching. I insist on that. You will get always a hell of a lot more out of these videos if you do the work yourself first whenever I tell you. Each time, not whenever I tell you, each time without even my telling you that. Here's the problem. We are told that a firm has six employees. A firm has six employees. We are told that two of them get a salary of $10,000 each. We are told that one person gets $16,000. We are told that the other three get $18,000 each. They get $18,000 each. Question is very simple, very straightforward. The question simply is, what is the average? What is their average salary? What is the average salary of these six people? I'll give you five seconds to pause and unpause the video, to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself first. Here we go. What we learned yesterday what we learned yesterday is that as long as the numbers are evenly spaced, as long as the numbers are evenly spaced, the average is simply the middle number. That's the concept we're trying to understand here. Let's see what happens. We need the room, so we need to get rid of this thing here. Okay, let's first of all list all the numbers. We have six people. We are told that two of them get a salary of 10,000 each. So we have 10 and 10. That's two people right there. One gets 16, three of them get 18. Now before you go hog oil, before you go hog oil and start solving this thing manually by adding up the six numbers and dividing by six, stop for a second and tell yourself that this is not the bloody point of the question. This is not what they're trying to see here. When this, when this kind of question appears in any of these exams, ACT, SAT, T, S, G, M, A, D, O, G, R, E, that's not the bloody point. Before you start doing it manually, before you start reaching for the calculator, Stop and look at the, stop for a second and look at the numbers and see if you see anything that they want. They, they want to see if you have the intuitive understanding of what's going on here. Clearly, we can see that these numbers are not evenly spaced. They are not evenly spaced at all. But visual inspection tells me, visual inspection should tell you that the average is going to be around 15 or 16. It's going to be around 15 or 16. It's not going to be 14. It's not going to be 14 because had the average been 14, listen carefully, had the average been 14, then we need to take away four from this guy, we need to take away four from this guy, we need to take four from this guy. Remember, we learned day before yesterday and yesterday, we learned that average is an egalitarian concept. It is an egalitarian concept. We're looking for a magic number that makes everybody equal. In order for, in order for the average to be 14, we need to take away four from this guy, four from this guy, four from that guy. That's already 12. We need to take away two from this guy. That's 14 already. We're gonna give. We'll, we'll, we'll end up giving that fourteen dollars to seven and seven. They're no longer fourteen old. Fourteen is too low. Average has got to be about fifteen or sixteen. I'm gonna start at sixteen. I'm gonna start at sixteen for a very good reason, for a very technical reason. You might as well learn that reason, and that reason is that I'm damn lazy. I am damn lazy. I'm gonna start at sixteen because sixteen appears in the middle. We won't have to do anything with the sixteen. So how can we make these three numbers sixteen? Take away two from this guy, take away two from this guy, take away two from this guy. We have taken away six dollars from this guy so far. We give the six dollars to this guy. Now this guy is 16 also. But this guy, this guy is still 10. This guy, this guy is still 10. That's no good. Everybody needs to be 16. In order for the average to be 16, everybody needs to be 16. And by taking away two from two dollars from this guy, this is sixteen. Taking away two dollars from this guy, this is sixteen. Taking away two dollars from this guy, that's sixteen. These three are sixteen now. This is sixteen. This became sixteen because we took away two plus two plus two and gave it to this guy. This guy is still ten. Sixteen is not the average. Sixteen is too high. I'm going to try fifteen. I'm going to try fifteen. What the hell? Let's try fifteen. See what happens. Okay. In order for the average to be fifteen. We have to take away money from those people who have more than $15 and we need to give to those people who have less than $15. Make sure that make sure you understand that average makes everybody equal. It is an egalitarian concept. We, talk, we talked about it. Let's take away three, $3 from this guy to make him, make, make him 15 Take away $3 from this guy. Take away $3 from this guy and take away $1 from this guy. 
How much have we taken away? We have taken away 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. Oh, very good. We are done. Give 5 to this guy and this 5 to this guy. It works. It works. The average must be 15. That's it. The average is 15. The average of these, three, these six number is 15. That's what they want you to see. That's what they want you to see. Let's do one more problem, shall we? Let's do one more problem. We are done with this card. We are done with this problem. The average is 15. Here's the next problem, okay? Are you ready for the next question? A firm has six employees. Two of them get, get salaries of $10 each. One of them gets $16. Three of them get $18 each. And then we are told that they hire a sixth guy. A new guy is hired. A new guy is hired with a salary of 20k. What's the new average? What's the new average? Let's find out, shall we? So we had we had two guys making ten dollars each, one guy getting sixteen, then we had three guys making eighteen, eighteen, eighteen and eighteen. And then we hired a sixth guy. Now we already know that the average of these six numbers, we have already done the work. We already done the work. We know the average of these, the, these guys is 15. We already know that. We hired a new guy who has a salary of 20. I'm, I'm trying to squeeze it here. Salary of 20. Now had he been 15 also, had he been, had he been 15 also, everything would have been, as we say in the desert, hunky dory. Alas, this guy does not make $15, he makes $20. He has five extra dollars than he needs to have. Let's take away that five dollars and give it to everybody, even this space. How many people do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six people that we had to begin with. Of course, this guy counts. Now we have seven people. Take away that five and give it, distribute among the seven people. That's the new average, 15 and 5 seventh. But again, we can't leave it like this because none of the answer choices in the exam is going to look like that. First of all, remember that this five dollars that we're talking about is not five dollars; it's five thousand dollars. This is a fifteen thousand dollars. So it's fifteen thousand dollars and five seventh of a, a five thousand divided by seven. We can't leave it like this. We have to do some more work with it. Let's do it on the top, or we can continue here. Five thousand divided by seven is what we're trying to figure out here. So we have fifteen thousand. We have 15,000, the average is 15,000 plus 5 seventh of a thousand, which is 5,000 divided by 7. 5,000 will not divide anyone into 7, so we're going to be lazy. Let's pretend it is 4,900. Now, 4,900 will divide nicely by 7. Now, all you have to do at this point is to look at the answer choices, look at the 4 or 5 answer choices that they give you, and look for one answer choice that, that comes closest to 15,700. The average is, the average is 15,700. Why 700? Because 700 happens to be approximately equal to 5,000 divided by 7. That extra 5,000 the new guy says, you divide it among 5 people. We pretend that 5,000 is 4,900 because 49 is evenly divisible by 7. And you make do with it. There is only, there is only going to be one answer choice. That is, that is going to come close to 15,700 as long as, as long as you're fully cognizant of the fact that we are underestimating this number. It's okay to estimate in the exam. It's not only it's okay, but it's necessary. It is necessary to go around estimating your answers all the time. That's how you speed up. That's how you save time. You must estimate. You must get the feel for the numbers. It's okay to estimate, but you must always also be fully cognizant whether you are underestimating or overestimating. Because one answer choice, listen very carefully, because one answer choice in the exam is going to be slightly more than 15,700, just a slightly more than that. One answer choice is going to be slightly less than that. We are underestimating. Why are we underestimating? Because actual number is 5,000. Instead of 5,000, we are taking 4,900. So the correct answer, whatever it is, is going to be slightly more than 15,700. We should have written it like this. The average is 15,700 with the plus sign on the top. With the plus sign on the top tells us that it's going to be slightly more than one, more than that. And there's only going to be one answer choices that's going to be slightly more than 15,700. And that's the real McCoy. Do you understand? Bye now.